everybody. It's me, Dr. Divya Shepard. Hi, welcome to the Grow Your Business Smarter, Live Your Optimal Life TV show. And of course, with me today is our favorite, favorite guest. Her name is Gail Petrowski. She is the co-leader of the Ladies Power Optimal Life Retreat. But let me just introduce myself for just a moment. For those of you who are tuning into our show for the very first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. And where have you been all my life? So glad you're here. I am Dr. Davia Shepard, and I host an amazing TV show called Grow Your Business Smarter, Live Your Optimal Life. But in addition to this amazing show, which I hope you will keep tuning in for, I also host a outstanding group of women. We call ourselves the Ladies Power Lounge. It's just me and a little bit over a thousand of my best business women besties. And what we have in common is that we all believe that when we as women in business support each other, <clears throat> all our businesses grow and the greater good wins. So when I talk about women in business, folks, I'm talking about all kinds of women in business. I'm talking about women in small business, women in bigger businesses, women who might be solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, women in corporate leadership, women who might be a nonprofit. And we even have some of our members who are retired. We are all committed to this one idea. When we support each other, everybody wins. There might be something that you're struggling with in your business or even in your life that there's somebody in our group who has been there, who has done that, who knows exactly the steps that you need to take to take you to the next level, to get you past whatever this perceived hurdle might be. And so I am going to invite you, please, will you come join us? Come add to our numbers. Come be one of these amazing ladies, Power Lunch women. It's 100% free. And all you have to do is go to Grow Smarter notharder.com slash log in. Note for those of you who have tuned into the show before, my link has changed because we're streamlining things over here at Ladies Power Lunch. And I'm going to perhaps on the next episode, talk to you a little bit more about that. But basically what we've done is we've tried to put everything in one place. So some of the advantages of being a member of our amazing free women's group is that we do have a monthly networking meeting. We have a ton of amazing resources available for women in business. And so what we've done is we've put them all in one place. And so once you go to growsmarternotharder.com slash log in, you'll be directed to the opportunity to log in. And once you've logged in, you'll see a page with resources. You'll see the link that will take you to join our monthly meeting if it's our monthly meeting time. You'll see the link to connect with us on our TV show. You'll see the link to join any events that we might have virtually that might be going on. And you'll see links to previous monthly meetings. You'll also see the link to join us in our Ladies Power Lunch Facebook group. So everything that's free for you is all now in one beautiful place, Grow Smarter not harder.com slash login. All right, on with this amazing show. Today, we're going to talk about the one mistake, the number one mistake that women in business are making. This is a big lift, right? Because I mean, you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, do we have one mistake that we're making that's causing all the problems in our lives? And if we just solve this one problem, everything's going to be better. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not, but there is one mistake that women in business are making over and over and over again. And the solution is a four-step solution, my friends. You know, I love four steps. Well, okay, today I'm going to give you a bonus step. So it's going to be five steps. Five steps to a simple, simple solution to this one mistake that we keep making over and over again. And it's not our fault, folks. We have been socialized to make this mistake. And so getting out of that pattern might be a little bit tricky for us, but we're here to work on it today with very special guest, Gail Petrowski. She is an outstanding teacher. She is an amazing therapist. She is one of the best that I know, coaches. And so she brings over 40 years of experience to helping us as women in business to solve the problems that might be in the background, preventing us from doing the very best work that we can do in the foreground and having that impact and that income. Yes, I said that I word income that we really, really do need to survive and thrive in our businesses. So welcome, Gail. I would like to, I mean, I could wax poetic all day long about all the reasons that I absolutely adore you, but will you, in your very own words, share with our audience, the very few of them who've never met you before, who you are, and a little bit about the wonderful things that you're doing in the world? You are muted, though, so I would invite you to unmute. All right. There you go. Hi there. I'm, I'm Gail. And um, Hi, Gail. <laughs> thank you, Tavia, for that beautiful introduction. Um, we have a mutual um, 
affection towards each other and a connection. And I am thrilled to be here with all of you. It's um, it's a pleasure because uh, women's women supporting women, it, it's the best. Um, I'm a transformational life coach. Started off as a therapist. Um, before that, I was a special ed teacher. So I've been in the in the in the forward movement of teaching and supporting people in growth. I became a master in neuro-linguistic programming, and I use a lot of different modalities in the work that I do with one-on-one -on -one, um, clients, and also I'm a retreat leader in the retreats and the workshops. And some of the modalities are timeline work, which gets people moving into a place of the past and the future and the present. It's difficult to explain, but with that movement, you can't stay stuck and you become more cognitive and aware of what's really going on in your life from the past and how it's affecting you now in the present. So I, I, this is the work that I love to do. I have a passion about it. I keep growing myself. So my work keeps growing. Um, and I just love making a difference in people's lives because it's a two-way street. I make a difference in someone's life and they make a difference in mine. And you know what? We keep lighting those candles as we go, making the world brighter. And that's what it's really all about. Growth, connection, and creating a more happy life, more successful. So, Gail. I love all the things that you're saying. And we're here today to talk about this idea that we can, in the next half hour, solve the number one problem that women in business are up against. I put in our Ladies Power Lunch group a question asking folks to share with us what their number one holdup is. And this is not the most scientific of polls, folks. So, you know, don't compare it with, say, something that you might get from American Express. But I feel like these anecdotal polls that we do really do give us a little snapshot into what folks are struggling with, what people really are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And in reaching out to people, I was getting this kind of feedback. People were saying they don't feel as productive as they could. Like they'll have a to-do list that's a mile long. And at the end of the day, maybe they've knocked off a few things, but they just don't feel that level of productivity. They talk about things like fatigue, procrastination, not being in the zone, lacking clarity, feeling a little bit foggy, time management, micromanaging their folks, lacking focus, just running around like their heads cut off feeling like they're on a hamster wheel. I'm just, I'm actually looking at the list of things that folks said because I I accumulated all the responses that we got. People are complaining that everything just feels hard. Like it is such a strenuous effort to get to do the thing that they feel like they've been put here on earth to do. And like, if this is the thing that they're supposed to be doing, why is it so hard? People are complaining that they can't get to that level of mastery because they're spending so much time doing the back end work of their business. They're complaining that they're not feeling the levels of transformation. They're feeling distracted and they're even feeling like the work that they could be doing could be higher in quality. And so when I looked at all of those things, I was thinking to myself, you know, what's happening with folks? They're feeling like they're being busy, not being productive. And so I think based on our very not scientific poll that folks are struggling with busyness. What do you think about that, Gail? What, what are your thoughts? Well, you mentioned a lot of different things um, that people have mentioned. And quite frankly, it all comes under the heading of overwhelm um, and uh, being overstressed. Um, and, and I think actually um, isolating themselves in the work that they do. Uh, that could also create stress in not getting the support that you really need for brainstorming or collaboration. Um, I, you know, there are a lot of things that come up to mind because all of that takes away from your focus, your clarity and your confidence level um, and the busyness of being busy um, and all the things that you have to do. You can't do time management when you're on overwhelm and you're stressed out and then you have fatigue sets in and tiredness and low confidence. So how do you put out the vibrational energy that you need out there in the world so people can feel it? Because I really believe that. I think that if you your belief system is in, um, in, in line with where you're going, that has to be uh, curative. What I mean by that is you need to be able to access the, the power of your own thoughts and words, focusing on what you want to put out there 
every day. And if you don't do that, you get lost in the shuffle and then you're exhausted. Um, and it can, and it, and it does affect you physically. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited that you, I call it busy. You call it overwhelm. And yeah. I'm thinking that it's these, it's two things. It's two pieces just of the same, maybe two sides of the same coin of lack of productivity. And I mean, we could get into a whole discussion about what does productive even mean, but productive means, in my opinion, that you're getting closer to the things that you want out of your business. So if what you want out of your business is to be able to turn five cartwheels and you're finding that you're only able to turn one cartwheel, then you're probably not as productive as you would like, right? I have I have very small children, so... <laughs> And I have small grandchildren. I get it. I get my it. explanations are at the five-year-old level. Yeah. But it's fine because maybe also my humor is at the five-year-old level too. <laughs> so I love to be not just looking at what the problem is and saying, oh yeah, you know, we're just all too busy. Okay, bye. See you on the next show and then play the credits. I feel like that would not be useful for any of us. And so I thought to myself, well, if these are the problems that folks are having I know exactly what the solution is I I could tell you and I've, I've done a little bit of research Gail because you know me I love the double-blinded placebo control trials as much as the next doctor over there I've looked at some of the people who are have been quote-unquote productive or who are we consider these people to be like at the kind of people who get stuff done that we we go read their books when we want to see how to live our lives better. For example, Brené Brown. She is somebody yeah. that I, I like Love her. reading her stuff. And she talks about how we have made busyness a badge of honor. Yeah, And this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that we as women in business, a lot of the times we're coming from a more corporate or a different kind of environment, or even if we're in corporate leadership, we've probably worked our way up the ladder and we've gotten this ladder girl. I've been there, folks. So I know what I'm talking about. Me we've too. We've a little pat on the shoulder yep. for overworking, for doing all the things, for being the micromanager. We have gotten a pat on the shoulder for basically pushing ourselves into overwhelm. Yeah. Talk to me, Gail. Yeah. Am I off? Am I no, off, off no, 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 you're, you're right. Or is this something that you're relating to? Oh, yeah. I mean, when I was the director of an international seminar program, I was getting accolades for, you know, for everything that I was doing and accomplishing uh, while raising two young children. And quite frankly, at the end of the day, I was exhausted and I was much younger than I am now. And um, it was not it was not easy, but I had to intersperse um, some time for myself, which we've talked about a lot uh, called self-care, whatever that means for you. Um, because mm -hmm. if you don't do that, you're going to burn out. So I love alliteration. And if, if Nadine was here, Nadine Mullings is our director of marketing over here at Ladies Power Lodge. If Nadine was here, she would be reveling in the R words that I'm about to drop for all of us today. But I love alliteration because it helps us to remember stuff, right? So what I want us to talk about is the solution. What is the solution to this overwhelm, this busy, this hamster wheel life that so many of us as women in business are living. And we're working harder, we're doing more, but we're not growing smarter. We're not getting to the places that we need to be at, at the, that we want to be at, because this is a choice. The answer, folks, is we actually need rejuvenation. And like I said before, Brené Brown talks about it. She talks about how we're we're pushing and we're thinking that these this is the way to go when really and truly it's not. If you look at folks like Einstein, I have this conversation with my littles all the time about how Einstein is a famous napper. Pro truly, this was back when I was trying to convince them that naps should remain a part of their day so that I could get some stuff done. But I mean, I wasn't wrong. Einstein was famously known for taking time off, taking breaks, unplugging so that he could get the brilliant downloads that helping, like we would not have GPS in our cars if it wasn't for Einstein. Come on, folks. He's one of my faves. 
Bill and Melinda Gates, well known for the whole Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and all the work that they do in the world, as well as Bill Gates and the whole Microsoft development. Life-changing for our generation. Well known for downtime. LeBron James, for those of you high sports fans, let's talk sports ball now. <laughs> I mean, LeBron James is one of those people who is known for taking time to have downtime because when it's time to be present and to be in the game and to be excellent, he has to be there 100%. I mean, these are people who I feel like they've set good examples for us. And the example they've set is that as women in business, okay, they never said these words specifically, but let's imagine that they did. Let's imagine that Bill Gates and Einstein and LeBron James and Brené Brown said these words. As women in business, what we need more of is we need more rejuvenation. We need more rejuvenation. Yeah. Let me say that again. The answer to this problem of busy and non-productive and overwhelm is we need more rejuvenation. And yeah. so I've broken this down into five things that we can just start doing today. And we can start building into our schedule today to make sure that we get past this busy and overwhelm and all of this other stuff that's holding us back. We need, number one, we need recovery. Number two, we need rest days. Number three, we need to reset. Number four, we need to reconnect. And number five, we need recreation. Yeah. So if we're doing those five things, then we are in rejuvenation and we can be producing that high quality work. We can be away from distractions. We will allow time for mastery, for clarity and creativity to blossom. We will allow time to be in the zone like a LeBron James, like really, really tuning in, turning on and lighting up the folks that we're here to support. It's going to happen. So when I talk a little bit about recovery, which is my step one, I feel like that's the place we need to start, Gail, because a lot of us are just tired. Yeah. A lot of us, this girl, a lot of us are just tired. We have been burning the midnight oil. Some of us, we might have been taking home work from the office or we have been working from home. So there is no set work time. It's just a 24 hour work cycle. Right. I mean. Right. We need to get into recovery. So recovery has two phases. Going to put on my physician hat for a moment. You have your passive recovery, which is, folks, if you're in sleep debt, you need to sleep. You kind of just need to do that. So take that time. Make sure you're getting enough rest for you every day. And it's different for everyone. It really is. For me, I could do well with like 10 hours of sleep a day. I never get that, but that would be ideal. For my husband, six hours is fine and he's ready to go again. So we're all different. Just make sure that you're not using somebody else's standard for rest as your own. Gail, as a therapist, mm. talk a little bit about the danger of using somebody else's standard for rest as your own. Well, you can't. I mean, if you do, what happens is you lose a part of yourself. And, um, and you really do um, lose on many different levels because you're trying to keep up to somebody else, having preconceived expectations that that is the way you're supposed to be living and thriving. And in essence, you're not thriving because it has nothing to do with who you are, truly who you are. And you can't, you have to have the time to be able to relax um, and have the space to be able to tap into who you really are and what you really want in your life and what your needs are physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Um, and you've got to have that downtime. Um, and, and I need to uh, share something with you. The, you know, years and years ago, I created these um, meditation. Um, they were tapes and CDs and now they're streaming. And the kids in the local high schools, the coaches were using my, my CDs back then before the games so that the kids would be in a state of uh, relaxation and um, and more less and less anxiety, so that their heads could be clear and their bodies could be freer and more relaxed. And then they would go out there and they would play ball. And I was shocked that they were using them like this, but it was working. So in in essence, what you're saying is right on the money. Uh, you can't you cannot mimic some, what somebody else is doing. A pattern that's good for them may not be good for you. 
You need to be able to first get into a place where you can tap into what you're really thinking and what you're really believing and what you're feeling inside. Because if you don't, you're going to miss the mark over and over and over again. And um, you will be in constant overwhelm. It's really important to have that recovery on many different levels of self-care. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And like I said, you know, physician hat on, I really, really, really do continue to even recommend for my patients. If you need rest, you need to sleep. That's that's that passive recovery. And rest does not mean watching hours and hours of Netflix. That actually no. does not give you the rest that your body needs. There's also active recovery that we need to focus on. So things like your nutrition and your hydration and your restorative therapies, those are important as well. Mm -hmm. That's if those physiological things are absent, then it's going to be hard to be increasing your performance. I came in this morning and I think maybe the heat is getting to me a little bit. And I think I was getting a little bit dehydrated and I took my magnesium and electrolyte tablet and I, you've seen me on the show. It really made a big difference. Like you really need to check in with your body. What do you need? Because yeah. if you don't have what you need, you might be performing and you might think you're performing well, but you could be performing even better. You could yeah. be more in the flow. Yeah. You could be more in the game if you are getting your rest, your nutrition, your hydration, your restorative therapies, all of those things. If those are in place, if your recovery is on point, you're 20% closer to ditching the overwhelm, ditching the busyness and being in that rejuvenated state. The next thing that I talk about is rest days. And women in business often don't like rest days, or it's not that they don't like rest days, but they don't take rest days. I was talking to some of my friends who happen to be corporate babies. And it was a hilarious thing because they were like, oh my goodness, we have so many vacation days that have accrued. And it was almost a competition to see who had more vacation days stacked. Wow. And you know that they're not alone because for those of you who are in corporate or nonprofit, for those of you who are in your own business, taking that time off can be challenging. Yeah. And so homework from today, go look at your calendar. And if you think you've already taken too many days off, you need to take a few more. True story. You just need to take a few more days off and to make sure, and we talked about this on a couple of episodes ago, make sure that if you're taking time off and you're even using it to spend time with family or to family vacations, make sure that you're still building in time that's restful for you. Because as a mom, I know going on family vacation is tons of fun, but it's not restful for me. So just make sure that in those rest days that it's restful for you and it gives you the opportunity to explore what you want, what you want out of your life, who you are, get back to you. I want to dive right into, which is reset. When I say reset, I mean unplug. Take some time to just be away from everybody and everything. Gail, technology is amazing. Oh. It keeps us connected in an amazing way. But don't you sometimes find that it can be a little bit intrusive? It can slow us down when we're working or when we're trying to rejuvenate. It can actually get us out of that rejuvenation zone. What has your experience been? Oh, absolutely. I, it, it's an intrinsic pattern. I, I watch people all the time, myself too. If I'm um, down at my reserve reservoir and I'm supposed to be just chilling out so that I may after you chill out, have more light bulbs that go off after you chill out and relax so that you can have more creativity in your brain and more space. What happens is I find myself on my phone looking at my emails or checking my text messages. And then I have to stop. I have to really stop because it's a pattern we have, guys, because we don't want to get behind the eight ball. We want to make sure we, we know what's going on or who may need us or what answer we may have or what's come through on the emails or how many junk emails we can get off our plates before it piles up. Um, it, it is a, and it takes away from our life force, that energy, that electrical energy takes away from our brain power. Um, and it takes away from our physical, our physical, I, you know, I'm going to say the word balance, um, because it's true. It throws us off. So we, you know, we have to practice that. And I'm, I, I'm, I have to do that too. 
we, you know what, we're all a work in progress. So yeah. as we talk about these things, please, folks, don't think that we are the poster children for rejuvenation. No. And sh we're sharing this with you. We're sharing this because we know it firsthand. Like this is our life and this is what we're working on every day to make sure that we're including ourselves on our own list, that we're making time and space in our lives for rejuvenation. And we're just sharing with you what has worked for us and what is working for us every single day. So I feel like it's a beautiful segue into thing number four, number four step for improving our ability to be in rejuvenation. We go from resetting and unplugging to reconnecting because we have to unplug in order to reconnect with ourselves and of course with the folks that matter to us, the ones that feed our souls. Talk a little bit about as a therapist, the value to reconnecting with yourself. Oh, well, if you... It, it, there is it, no value. And now we just roll the credits. I mean, really, I mean, it, you know what? I, I'm in a different life stage than you are, Davia, and we're all at different stages of life. We've all been through different experiences, different stumbling blocks, different tragedies, different highs, different lows. But at every stage, you need to be able to, uh, it's important to be able to set aside that rejuvenation time, whatever that means for you, whether it's going on a retreat, whether it's take, giving yourself the um, the gift of, of a vacation for yourself, um, whether it's taking the day off, whether it's going out in the kayak, whatever it is, it's so important to do. Because if you don't do that, you forget who you are in this moment and what is important to you for your own healing and well-being. Because we all need different things at different times. But you can't even know what that is unless you take that time out to discover what that is and who you are in this moment. As I'm rediscovering all the time what some of the next steps are for me. And I, the only way I can do that is if I, I sit back and I'm able to um, recreate something that is magnificent for me that I would never have considered doing before. But why not? It's time for me. It's time for you. And when is it going to be time is the question for you to do what you need to do for yourself before you, you, you can't. Before you can't. I mean, I don't want to be catastrophic here, right. but you can today. And that's the only thing that you know, for sure. We don't know anything about what's going on in the future, unless you do, in which case, call me. My number is 999999. <laughs> me too. <laughs> we we want to know. Inquiring minds we want to know. So focus in for rejuvenation. We've said focus in on your recovery. So the homework for that is go look. Are you getting enough sleep at night? And I use my phone to just give me a gentle reminder about my bedtime. You can do that too. Uh, make sure you're tracking your nutrition, your hydration, especially if you're in an area that's experiencing extreme heat like we are right now. Make sure you're doing your restorative therapies, whatever those might be for you. Rest days. Go look at your calendar. Mark on your calendar the days that you're going to be taking that are going to be just for you. And try to see if you can get a full day, at least one full day every couple of weeks, at least one full day every month where you take this time and it's just for you and you allow yourself to reset. That's the unplugging and then reconnect with who you really are. And that might involve some self-reflection, some journaling, doing some meditation, maybe taking a yoga class, whatever it is that you use to reconnect with yourself, you're going to want to do that. And then my bonus tip. So tip number five, for rejuvenating yourself is going to be a focus on recreation. Recreation. Recreate what is fun and joyous and beautiful for you in life right now. Because a lot of us might be, things might have changed. It might not be exactly the same. Somebody, I told y'all this maybe last week, somebody invited me on her podcast and that was so nice of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she asked me, what, so what do you like to do for fun? And I was like, dare in the headlights. <laughs> fun? What? Because my life is packed with a lot of stuff, but I'm not sure if I would categorize a lot of it as necessarily fun. And I had to think about it for a minute. And yes, I do have things that are fun. I do have things that I enjoy doing and I think if we all just take some time and remember what those fun things are and then pull out that calendar again and look for times when we can insert more fun into our days, into our weeks, into our months, into our quarters, into our year. More fun, folks. 
more joy, more beauty, more enjoyment, more fulfillment, more things that make our days on the planet more meaningful for us. What do you think about fun and recreation, Gail? I was, actually going to, I was actually going to say, I was going to ask everyone, what is fun for you? Do you remember what fun is? Exactly. Because that's a that's a good question, Davia. And the other thing is, as we've mentioned before, is schedule your, your fun time, your rejuvenation, your relaxing in on your appointment schedule. Put you in that appointment book. Because if you don't, you're going to you're going to want to do it. It's going to be a want to, but it may not happen. You won't create it. So that's what I would really strongly suggest. Make sure you're in your own appointment book, your own appointment schedule. Um, and don't don't back out of that. You're as important as any other appointment. You're more important because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't even support anyone else. And you lose the creativity and all the light bulbs that Einstein had that went off. You lose all of that because you're, you, you know, you're blocked. Your brain is blocked. So, and turn off the TV at night. So you heard it here fo first, folks. Gail is basically saying that once you get to figuring out what's fun for you, you will become Einstein. That's just <laughs> basically how it works. <laughs> Kidding, but also not. You know, it's, it's going to change our lives when we start to make time and space for ourselves. That recovery, can't miss that out. The rest days, the resetting, reconnecting, and recreation. All of those spell rejuvenation and take us out of that busy, overwhelmed space into buoyant and beautiful. Ooh. I, I like it. Because we, we can have a tendency to feel stuck and uh, this is going to help us get unstuck. How's that for a great word? I love that. Yeah. Get unstuck. And how many times have we felt like we don't know what's the next step to take or we feel like we're climbing a glass wall or we just we just feel like we're not moving forward in a way that we want to and remember it's a choice so it's what you want to it's not what somebody else is thinking or mm -hmm. what society is thinking it's are you fulfilling your own desires for yourself and your business your own desires and if you're not there then I would invite you to consider rejuvenating taking some time and great segue into just reminding that recently in May, was it, Gail? We mm -hmm. went on the Ladies Power Lunch Live Your Optimal Life Retreat. So we've been back to having retreats now. These are opportunities for women in business who support others to be supported. We're talking about the healers, the leaders, the coaches, the consultants, the teachers, the speakers, the ones who are so filled with passion for the work that they do that mm -hmm they very often in taking the time to support others are not getting that support back for themselves. And so we've provided this opportunity, this amazing retreat for women in business who are supporters to get that support. So we went on retreat in the spring. Our retreat went to the Bahamas. It was an amazing time for all who went there. Have been a couple of our retreat attendees who hopped onto the show and who actually shared a bit of their experience. So, if you'd like to see more about that, I invite you to go check the back catalog and tune into the fun that they've had and also the opportunities that they've had for rejuvenation, recovery, resting, resetting, reconnecting, and recreation. Was they really had a joyful, beautiful, fun time? And you might be thinking, "Oh my goodness, it's so so amazing! I'm so sorry I missed it." It's okay because we have another retreat coming up in the fall and we will be going back to the Bahamas just to a different island. We're going to Bimini and we're going on Celebrity Cruise Lines, which is a premium cruise lines. Our accommodations are the aqua class level. So what that means is that you have access to the thermal suite of the spa. It's called the Persian Gardens. There's steam rooms, saunas, cold rooms, all sorts of different things that you could do in the spa that are included as part of your package. There's yoga, there's exercise classes. There's this amazing restaurant called Blue that mm. is just focused on healthy eating, but it's high level healthy eating. So it's all super delicious, but also very healthy. And we also spend time together in the group setting where we actually focus on the things that we can do when we get back to the real world to live our lives more optimally. So that's coming soon. Are you looking forward to that, Gail? I, my bag is packed. My hat is over there, Davia. <laughs> you ready. know what I'm going to do? I need to find my hat and put it on the shelf. So we 
we have a signature hat. It's the pink hat for our retreat. And I'm going to find my, bring it on the next show. And then when we talk about retreat, Gail, I'll say, Gail, where's your hat? Okay. Get your I, hat. Need, I may need a new one. But it's time to go. I have a new one for you. Yeah. It's time to go get grab your beach hat. It's time to go on retreat. Yeah. So our fall retreat is going to be October 21st. And there is so much more information about the amazing transformations that come out of retreat, as well as the beautiful fun times that we have on retreat, going to beautiful destinations, hanging out with amazing women in business who are just like you, supporting the amazing people they're here to support. And it's, it's just a wonderful time to be in beautiful places, hanging out with beautiful people, transforming in beautiful ways. Grow smarter, not harder.com slash retreat is where you'll find more information about that. But you're absolutely invited. Come join us. We'd be so happy to have you. Please come join us. We would love it. And actually, we're getting together on August 3rd, some of these women, um, because the bonding and the healing was so special, <laughs> the friendships that were made. It's, it's a nice package that we've put together because what we do is we have some sessions ahead of retreat and they're all focused on living our optimal life, having that life balance, having better boundaries, having a more beautiful life where we're able to take time to smell the roses and of course living a more brilliant life where we're actually being the beacon, we're answering the call, we're shining our light in the way that we need to, we've ignited our leadership and we're living our optimal life. And then we go off on retreat and in a very fun way, we incorporate all of those ideas and then we come back and then we have a couple of sessions after the retreat to integrate that into our lives so that we're not just, because I don't know about you, Gail, but a lot of the times I'll go on retreat or go to a workshop or go to a seminar and I come back with binders full of amazing, juicy information. And I'm like, yes. I'm ready to implement all of this in my life. And then I get back into the office and the office sucks me right in and it just doesn't happen. And so because of that, we've built in some integration time where we spend some time seeing how we're going to fit all of the things that we learn back into our life. And then we have another session to see, okay, how are we doing? What support do we need? Where are we? So it's not just, oh, let's go on a retreat and it's going to be great. It is that, but there's also the opportunity to make it a part of your life and really have some meaningful change. What do you think, Gail? Meaningful I think change? that's I think that's what what makes this very special because yes. yes, it's fun. It's giving yourself the luxury and the comfort and the desire to take better care of yourself, all of that and new experiences and bonding, but it's supportive and it's um, a completion because nobody is left hanging with questions or what are my next steps? Everybody supports everyone and the support is amazing. Awesome. I'm just here looking over at our Ladies Power Lounge group, and I just want to take a moment to say hi to everybody who's watching along. Say thank you so much for joining in with us today. And for those of you who are not as yet a part of our amazing Ladies Power Lounge community, that's a community of women in business who support each other, then I invite you to come join us. Go to growsmarternotharder.com slash log in. We're up on the end of the show, Gail, and at the end of every show, I like to pull a card just a thought for the week, something to write us out on. So I pulled a card earlier and I thought it would be the card that we talk about, but I feel like the energy shifted a little bit since I pulled that card. So what do you say we pull another one? Do Please. it. Do Let's it. Do it. All right. So I'm pulling from the, I've been pulling from this deck for the past couple of months now. Love Your Inner Goddess by Alana Fairchild. I don't know. It's just really speaking to me these last few months. So yeah. I, I'm just going with it. I asked the, the decks, which one of you want to come out to play? And this one keeps saying it's me. So here we go. I don't know. I think I love the pictures of the cards. They're very, very I very love the book. Here. I love the book. It's it's nice. So let's see. I'm I'm a fan of art. So this is the one that came out to play today. She is number 12 for those of you who have this particular deck. She is the princess savior. And it says, mm. this princess saves herself. Oh. So let's see. There, there's always a little bit more to it. So let's see what wow. they have to say. Even if you feel uncertain about facing a challenge, believe in yourself. You're strong enough to conquer this. There will be help if you need it. 
but you already have the inner resources required to overcome any obstacle and attain the most blessed outcome. If you are in the process of letting go of someone or something, perhaps an old habit, an old way of life, a relationship, or a situation in which you felt trapped, don't allow insecurity or uncertainty to stop you. You've got this, and you're doing the right thing and moving on. What's this saying to you, Gail, in the context of what we've been talking about? It, it's saying right on with what we've been saying. Listen to your listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart. Listen to yourself, your spirit, and let it guide you. Um, and and really allow it to activate um, what is good for you. Yeah, and you know the thing that's pinging for me is that if you're if you feel stuck, like you were talking about before. There are answers that are available for you, but unfortunately, if you don't take the time for rejuvenation, if you don't take the time to tune in and turn on your inner knowing, you're you're going to be missing out on answers that could be coming to you, that can help you move through the levels, the stages, the issues, the concerns that you might be having. So the princess savior is you, friends, and you have the opportunity to be a self-rescuing princess. So go ahead, get to it, get to rejuvenation. It seems a little bit counterintuitive that what we're saying is that in order to achieve more, you need to slow down, you need to rest more. But that seems to be for so many who have achieved so much quote unquote greatness, that seems to be a big part of the recipe. So I invite you to Go ahead and check that out. And I will post the card and the reading that comes with it, the thought for the day that comes with it inside our Ladies Power Lunch Facebook group. So again, if you're not already a member, just go to growsmarternotharder.com slash log in and you'll get a chance to become a part of our group and you'll see the link to our Facebook group as well as a link to many of the resources like replays or the link to join us on our next Ladies Power Lunch monthly meeting. All of that stuff is accumulated in that one place and it's 100% free to join us over there. Also, come join us on retreat October 21st. We're going to Bimini on Celebrity Cruise Lines and more information about that is and gail will be there so i know you've all had just about enough of me but gail will be there gail will be there i mean you don't need another reason to show up gail's gonna be there just go to grow smarter not harder.com slash retreat and you'll get a whole lot more information about that any last words before we go gail uh no the only thing i want to say is um in my life I realized that I made many excuses not to do something for myself that would have been good. And then I wanted to kick myself afterwards. So all I'm going to say to you is I invite you to really look at how special and enough you are and you deserve this. Come be with us and have fun. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gail, for being our super special guest. I was going to say very special, but let's face it, whenever you're here, it's a super day and we oh. truly appreciate that. So thank you so much for being a part of our show, for being an amazing part of Ladies Power Launch and for supporting our mental health in that Live Your Optimal Life retreat space. We really do appreciate that. Thank you Thank everybody you. for watching and I'll see y'all on the next show. Bye everyone.